Are you having issues with the appearance of your Kindle ebook or EPUB file? Then you're not alone. You'll want to hear me out on today's video. Stay tuned. Welcome to Self Publishing with Dale. And if you want to master DIY publishing, make sure that you subscribe and turn on your notifications to get all my latest videos. Recently, one of my viewers, Tracy, asked this. I just uploaded my EPUB file to Kindle for my first book. I noticed that the tablet view looks okay, but the Kindle view is a little messed up. Have you ever had this issue? Thanks for submitting that question, Tracy. So to answer that, what I need to tell you is you are not alone. I've had that issue quite a bit and I still have that issue. However, now that there's many auto formatting software out there on the market these days, if you just test out here and there, you'll find something for everything within your self-publishing business. To be noted, I do quite a bit of publications in the fitness industry, so of course that requires a lot of tables, it requires a lot of pictures, and it's just a ton of heavy lifting content within the actual book itself. So it really can be problematic when you're trying to format something like that, and especially uploading it into these auto formatting software, such as the one in KDP, or in Smashwords, or in Pronoun, or even Draft Digital. So here are a few rules that have kind of helped me out. It starts with this, one, when you're doing images, I recommend keeping your images below five inches wide by six inches tall. Now this is a general rule. It's not gonna work for all Kindle eBooks or eBooks on other platforms, but I found that serves me pretty well. Two, when it comes to any kind of tables, I would really recommend that you just develop the table, take a snapshot of it and turn it into a PNG or JPEG file, and then resize it and upload it as an actual image within your book, as opposed to putting the, the tables into the book itself. The problem is most auto formatting software out there don't really recognize the table too well, so it can become a jumbled mess. Now, I've been able to put some tables into some of my books on KDP, but I gotta tell you, it just was not worth the time and heartache. It would have either made more sense for me to hire out or for me just to snapshot the tables. And the next thing is, when it comes to your chapters and your chapter titles, try to make it a heading one or a heading two. A lot of auto formatting software out these days start to recognize and pick up those headings and then they'll auto format your table of contents accordingly. In fact, there's actually a full tutorial on how to auto to uh, format your document for pronoun publishing. It also works really well for draft to digital and also really well for smash words. So take a look at that link in the description and below as well as the cards up over here. So hopefully that helps you out on your next venture into publishing on KDP, Smashwords, or any other aggregate publishers for that matter. If you have any further questions about EPUBs, Mobis, or any kind of document uploading into auto formatting software, make sure that you drop them in the comments below. That's it for today. Remember, if you enjoyed today's content, then at least share it with one other person into DIY publishing too. Till later, this has been Self Publishing with Dale, and I'll see you soon.